Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. He has a lot of problems. Struggle to be top five in points at the end of the season. Wow. You don't bleach your, your hair, you're, you're a sellout. What is up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Moto Aftermath Show. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Travis, your host. We are here to wrap up the Seattle Supercross here uh, before we go into this break, which is our first really scheduled break. We had one scheduled earlier. Obviously, that got screwed up with the whole Oakland uh, rain debacle there. Uh, joining me in studio here, co-host for Supercross right now, it is Mr. Cole Ugetti. Hey, bud. What's up, y'all? New, new job yet? Not yet. Not yet. Okay, cool. No, no new job yet. Not yet. Anyway, um, all right. So uh, we got a we got a full pack show here, um, and uh, before we before we get started, we'll just thank our sponsors here. First off, our presenting sponsors, Complete Racing Solutions. Uh, check them out, CompleteRacingSolutions.com. Coach Rob can scientifically help you both on and off the bike become a better athlete and rider. Uh, so make sure to check him out. He's got all sorts of content everywhere that can help you out for free. And then if you want to make that next step. He's there to uh, help you out with that. And he does not just do motocross and supercross uh, uh, training. He also does basically every kind of sport you can possibly imagine. So if you do any kind of sport, you want to be better at it, uh, look him up. Again, CompleteRacingSolutions.com. Can you fix my posture, do you think? Yeah, probably. I got terrible posture. We could tape you to the chair. I mean, I got coliosis. Or you just got to walk around like you're a fucking asshole. That's what I do. Like, uh, yeah, dude, like, I literally will walk around. Just, but I picked that up when I was, like, really lifted. See, I don't know. My ass sticks out. Because I just wanted to be a... My shoulders are, like, inverted. Nah. I mean, I catch myself doing that sometimes. But Is it, like, scoliosis or... I don't know. Nah, I'm not sure. Col- I don't know. I don't know the name. So. Coliosis? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway, moving on. Uh, also presenting the show, TLR Coatings, Michigan's number one custom powder coating shop. Check them out, tlrcoatings.com, and at all the major social media networks at TLR Coatings. Uh, we can basically powder coat anything metal for you. We Cerakote high temp stuff for you. Um, so if you want any of that stuff done, we do shipping. Make sure to check them out. And uh, links in the description down below for those. Also on board with us here, we got a Holster Co. Reload Rant coming up. Actually, I don't really have a rant this week. Do you have a rant? Yeah, yeah, I guess. All right. Um, we got Gutterworks presenting our 450 class here on board with us. We've got Adept Creative Co. presenting the 250 race recap. They're on board with us. Isaac Nelson Designs going to bring you our uh, Kevin Moran's interview that's coming up here in just a minute. Edgewood Farms on board with us, too. And, uh, yeah, we've got the Complete Racing Solutions comment of the week. And there was a lot to go through. The TLR <laughs> tinfoil hat coming up. Oh, you um, got one? Uh, kind of, yes. No? Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, lots to get into here. Um, but we are going to fire off first thing Right here, off the rip Right with Kevin. off the rip with Privateer Hero Kevin Moran's here to talk to him about what it's like to whole shot and lead a main event. <coughs> Maybe. Oh, I called the whole shot right before the starts are good. Starts are back, which well, is great. I was great. talking to Rusty. Well, I was watching it with Rusty. Kevin Morantz. Hello? Hey. Yo. Bro. Oh, there we are. You hear us? There we are. All We're right. Bold. Yo, welcome to the show. And you, sir, are officially in the record books as a lap leader in 450 Supercross. <laughs> is that actually like legit? Is that an actual stat? I mean, I mean, we could make it one because I sure as hell would claim it. Here's the thing. You, you <laughs> led a lap, and as far as I know, they do keep track of lap leaders in mostly everything but Triple Crown. So somewhere in that record book buried deep with all the other guys that do the same thing you do, which is whole shot and lead, psh, you're there, well, bro. You, you, got, you got your name in the record book twice as far as i'm concerned true a whole yeah. shot whole Dude. shot and, and a lead and yeah. a lead in the lap yep bravo yeah, sir. and a whole shot of the heat race too like that is just a solid night man. dude obviously yeah. slightly short-lived in our situation is just a fuck up on my part i just went a little long on that triple because <laughs> it was rebuilt and i was hit i went to hit it because obviously we only get a sight lap and i didn't hit it on the sight lap um 
and yeah, I was hitting as hard as I needed to in the heat. Well, obviously it was a little different, and yeah, I just overshot it. So Oops. part of it, but dude, I was I was stoked with the whole situation. Oh, claim it! I was sitting there laughing as you're stuck on the tough blocks, going, "He doesn't give a shit. All he's thinking about is that whole shot bonus he just got." And then, like, yes, I let a lap. Outside of that, he's like, yeah. "I care less. I'll just pull off right now. Yeah. Call it a night." Yeah, I I was sitting there with my buddy watching the race, and I was like. No, Rant, I mean, as soon as that shot. happened, watch. <laughs> yeah, I was obviously bummed, but I mean, as soon as I got out of that, I was like, I mean, it is what it is. I can't stop that. I was like, I just fucking went across the finish line first. Like, that's sick. I was like, get your shit together and just get as many points as you can. Cause, like, the, t- the, the fight for the top 20 points is going to come down to the wire. It's going to be gnarly. Yeah. Cause isn't there, there's, there's what, a couple grand or so difference in payout, isn't there? Um, for top, like, yeah, if 20- you're 20. If you're twenty first in points, you get nothing. If you're twenty in points, you get ten grand. Damn. Okay. okay. All right. So there's a ten grand difference. Ten grand. All right. And where are we, where are we sitting right now? Uh, I haven't even looked at this. We we got bumped back back to twentieth. We were sitting nineteenth uh, going into the weekend. Now we're like tied for twentieth. With who? Uh, like four different people. Oh well, that's. I think gonna... Chase Cartwright. <sighs> This is a lot of people. I'm gonna have to go. Uh, I'm gonna have to go. Uh, we're gonna have to go flatten their tires. Yeah, or pull their valve stems out or something, man. Hopefully they're not running <sighs> mooses. Man, do you run a moose, Kev, or are you a tube guy? <laughs> no, tube, tube. Okay. So, dude, what is yeah, it? Yeah, I got a flat. I got a flat tire in the second qualifying session. That's why I qualified so terribly. What it? What Which it, I mean. Oh, go ahead. Isn't terrible. Isn't terrible. I mean, 24th, but should have been better. What? Uh, what's it like to come around that first lap and just jump that finish line first? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was the it was sick. It was honestly it was epic. <laughs> well, how? Well, lack of a better term, how big did your dick feel when you passed section around the outside? <laughs> well, honestly, dude, I didn't really plan on doing that. Like, he's obviously the homie. I know I'm not that speed, not yet. And, uh, but when he singled and I got the double and I got a good drive off the backside, I'm like, dude, like. If I can get to the finish line first, I'm going to try my ass off to get to the finish line first. Oh, like, yeah. That's just cool kind of deal. And then, like, when I did it, like, at, like dude, I've had so many people hit me up just because of how cool that was that I didn't just, like, lay over. Yeah. So, yeah. No, that was yeah. – we all thought the same thing. Like, damn, he's fighting for it. This is badass. Yeah. Now, se- <laughs> did Sexton make any contact with you or you just literally overjumped that? That, that was – no, that was just me. Okay, because I couldn't really I mean, tell he was TV. close. But yeah, I just I landed into like I landed like a, a half a wheel too far to that point where I landed into the berm a little bit. Got it. And I landed on the very left of the berm, so like there it immediately were tough blocks right there. Got it. Yeah, because coach texted me this morning and he goes, "Yo, Kev should have just pulled a uh, pulled a bogle and just pulled over, waited for Chase to come around, just blasted him." And I was like, "Yeah, I don't really yeah, think he cared about touch. that. <laughs> he got that whole yeah. shot, and that was it." So yeah, oh man. So I'm tied. I'm tied right now i'm in 20th okay i'm tied with chiz yeah or 20th okay uh we got cartwright one point behind us we've got uh starling three points behind us and then we've got um four, five, six, seven we've got freddie seven points behind us okay and then we've got Cade nine points behind us who's right in front of you uh, Grant Harlan, he moved because he did pretty good this weekend. Oh, he was behind guy. me coming into the weekend, but he's he's sitting with 46. I'm sitting with 43. Okay. All right. Well, that's no problem. One race would make that up. So here's what you need to do. You got to blast Harlan. And I, you know what? <laughs> no, 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 we're not blasting Harlan. Benny, no, no. Benny's we're on the same train. We're kickstart bolts on Chisholm's bike. Well, that's yeah. true, too. So we loosen the kickstart bolts, and you and Benny gang up and just gangbang Harlan, and <laughs> you'll be good to go. Yeah, absolutely. Because Benny's pissed at him, so. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, because, Har- well, not really, but Harlan, I guess, like, made kind of a sketchy move on him last night, and supposedly it was like he was out of control or something, uh, is what Harlan said, but Benny's like, I'll let this go this time, but, like. I thought they were boys, are they not? Oh, they are. No, oh, they are. No, okay. they, they well, did are, you see it going was... around? I don't know if Kev saw the photo, <laughs> but it was Harlan and Benny standing together, Yeah, and they both had their heads shaved. <laughs> and it was like this is Doctor Evil and Mini Me. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Oh man! All right, but uh, dude, so okay, so starts are back, so that's awesome. How the heck was that track last night? Because it didn't look like a whole lot of fun. Oh, it looked worse than dude, it day. was. Yeah, it was tough. It just got so rutted, but it was like a. 
I don't know how to explain. Like I would have rather raced Indy than that track. I okay. guess See, that's, that's what kind of the way it. I was feeling. I've heard mixed reviews. There were other guys that said they'd rather race that than Indy because the Indy ruts were so much like not worse, but they were more grabby much or something. Right. Yeah. So I kind of disagree. I mean, they, they were softer. These ones were like hard rut, harder mm-hmm. ruts, right? So like, yeah, it hit them perfectly you were pretty much screwed because the you, you couldn't move the rut at all, right? Mm-hmm. And Indy, the rut would move a little bit. Okay. Mm. Now, but, is, is, yeah, that, is that stadium pretty small? Because it looks small on TV. Uh, yeah. Okay. Kind of. I mean, it's not... I don't know. It's not bad, but okay. it's nothing crazy. No. Pits, oh. are, pits are nice. <laughs> yeah, this is... What that that's what all it's all indoor there, isn't I it? I said the pits are yeah, nice. Yeah, we got yeah, we got shafted though. We got put over in the the back forty more or less where you what? can only get into credential access. So we didn't get any fan interactions. And I ended up going in and setting up a tent just so I could like I didn't take my bike or anything in there, but I just set up a tent so I could sign autographs. Lame. Oh my god. Lame. That is super lame. Yeah. Like there should be I don't know how it works, but I feel like if you're you know, top twenty in points, or mm-hmm. you're in the main event every weekend. Like, yeah, we tried. Like, we tried making that argument. What was the answer? They were just uh, like, "No, fuck you." Yeah, pretty much. Factory but, team kind of only to an extent. Which, like, somehow Bubba Pauly's team got in there. Somehow David Pulley was able to get in there and whatnot. Dude, oh, my, don't even why, get me started on that guy. Don't even get me started on that guy. Why I didn't bitch though is because. The team tether had to park where we parked, and those dudes both just got top ten in the four fifty last weekend, and there was a story about them. And like, David Poli was inside. In? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, dude. Oh, I'm gonna stay away from that one. I am too. I'm a dick. We are f- friends with Feld now. Sure, well, that's, that's good it. to hear. No, we're not. But we'll just you're just you know what? We're just gonna move moving on. Um, so you think there's gonna be any awkwardness with Chase at the track for the next couple weeks here? No. Since you blew no, I don't think so. <laughs> not at all. No, it'd be different if it was if he was lapping me. But dude, like we're in the same point of the race at that point. Yeah. Listen, we want the inside line on how salty he is about Coop giving him the gunslinger. Yes, that's dude, what I, I thought I that know. was kind of savage too. I thought oh, that was kind of savage dude. Too. I thought it was real douchey to be honest honest with you because i'm like bro he just came from behind and caught you in a heat oh yeah race, like... owned it. did you hear the press conference oh yeah he said he threw it out there because he's like well chase fast in these like whatever and i'm just he was like, like i kind of wanted to mess with his mental and i guess did it worked say that yeah he's like i guess it worked <laughs> it worked he did the same thing he's been doing i don't know how you uh, think that worked but whatever so it was pretty savage yeah so I don't know. Whatever. I thought I thought I was watching MX vs ATV back in the day when I'm playing with my buddies split screen. Yeah, was there a bunch of was there a bunch of junk in the dirt there? Is that why you think you got a flat or just a random? Weirdness? Uh, yeah, there was a lot. There's a lot of junk, junk in the dirt. Lame, super lame. Yeah, so. uh, yeah. But no, that I don't. That's not why our beadlock broke. Oh, gotcha. Like the the beadlock literally sheared in half. Ew. So then it just my tires started spinning on the rim. Mm. It's all that traction with those Pirelli tires. Indeed, man. Got to eat. Got to eat. How are <laughs> Got it. Let them eat. Let them eat. <laughs> Let them eat, man. Hey, speaking of eating, <coughs> is there going to be a photo of you pulling the whole shot with them boys behind you right over the kitchen table? Blown up and uh, framed. <laughs> yeah, probably at some point. But, dude, I got a, I have a ton of really good photos. I'm going to post yeah, some okay. of them tonight. That's badass. Because I did see one yeah. pull up, and I'm like, Fucking a, that's a cool photo. That would be my yeah. screensaver for the rest of my life. I would just <laughs> never change it on my computers, my phones, my that's iPads, funny. nothing. Just always. No, don't change it until the next one because it's gonna happen again. <laughs> yeah, I am. Yeah, exactly. I'm super happy to see the starts are back, man. Like last week was really, really good. A couple weeks before were pretty good, and then, uh, and then yeah, last night as you're like whole shot in the heat there, that was pretty cool too because you whole shot that with Craig right there. And uh, yeah, so that was pretty interesting to watch you boys go at it a little bit there for a second. So I feel like that was the longest start straight of the season so far, though. It looked like a long one. It did feel like it, but yeah, we, it was. Was it? We okay. haven't been to Glendale yet, so just calm down. Well, still, but I yeah, I was sitting there watching. I was like, "Yep, Kev, he's gonna, he's <laughs> just gonna pull out a couple wheel lengths while these other guys are shifting, and he's gone." <laughs> oh man! So. so. 
I heard you had a heard you had a conversation with our buddy AJ at the uh, airport last week. Indeed. Yeah, sweet. You get some good insight on how we can improve our YouTubes. <laughs> oh, I wish, dude. Oh man, we've got to figure it out. That's all I gotta say. Hey, yeah, let he me does. tell you. I don't know if he told you this, but he made this point in his podcast last week, and it made a lot of sense. And I was gonna pass this on to you. You should lobby to go into B practice. Just because of the publicity? Yes. Because you, number one, will be at the top of the board. Bingo. Confidence booster. Number two, you will be on TV all the effing time. Cause like, yeah, like I was last year. Yeah, because like AJ has been in B group, even though he's made like almost every main and is clearly oh, in the top so 20. he's talking to some people to stay <clears throat> No, he he hasn't even tried. They just keep putting him there. But he's like, honestly, it's awesome because hmm. I'm on TV all the time. I'm constantly at the top of the board. It's a huge confidence boost. Now with him, yes, the track's better. With you, the track will be a little worse. But I think yeah. the, I think with what you're trying to do, the publicity of being on the screen. Because let's face it, right now when you're in a group, like I don't like I don't ever get to see you. So like yeah, I can look and true. see your times, but like I don't ever see you. They don't. Uh, no offense, and you know this because you're a realist yeah. like this. They don't care about you in the A group. But no. if you were in the B group, I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah what are your thoughts they talk on about that? The most. Yeah, it, it's it's one of those things. It's like with what you're trying to do, it makes sense. Kind of like with AJ. Like, yeah, is B group great for him because technically it's a little jaded because he's on that track. That's so much better. Eh, yes. But is he getting a bunch of coverage because he's running at the top all the time and I'm watching him on race day live? Yes. Yeah. He can leverage that sponsor <clears throat> and stuff too. Yeah, I don't know. That's a lot. That's a lot easier decision for him than it is for me because he's getting a better situation out of it than going backwards. Right. So for me, I'd be getting a little bit worse. I mean, actually a, a fair amount worse of a track. Because obviously the first few laps of our practice is kind of the golden moment because they yeah. usually make some some uh, adjustments and fix a few things in between the session and our session. Um, but the biggest thing there is when he has more of a fresh track, it's easier to move around the track. The track. Me, I'd be going into the B session if we have <laughs> slower guys, which me in my session, I'm one of the slower ones. So then everybody around me, I never run into people. Right. Yeah. In the B session, I would be, it would be a shittier track. So it'd be more one lined and there'd be jackasses that just roll in the main line and it would, it'd be worse off probably. <clears throat> yeah. You get a little bit more coverage, but for me, I'll take a practice all day just because one, that's where I need to be right now. Like I do like the coverage. I'm getting a lot of coverage in the super or in the, LCQs, and then obviously if I'm full shot and stuff, yep. um, so I'll take my coverage there <laughs> over worrying about yeah, trying to get say. more and qualifying. I, I don't just, know LCQ I just have coverage. Ideas. I think on the is is more valuable than race <laughs> the, day live coverage. The LCQ I agree. Which, that. and coverage that's another key. thing. Yeah, and that's another thing too. Like AJ obviously cares about his results a little bit, but it's more about the brand and the marketing for him mm -hmm. at this point. Obviously, for me, it's a, it's the opposite. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we're still racing. <laughs> yeah, what was he? Yeah. He was saying something the other day that was kind of interesting in the comment section about 1099 and how he was writing shit off and all that. Does he get know. into that on his pods at all? Uh, not that I've heard yet, but I don't subscribe to his stuff or anything. I just watch the yeah. free stuff he puts out, so I don't know. Yeah, I feel like that side would be kind of interesting to hear about. Yeah, but well, I was impressed he brought you up on his podcast, so because he doesn't. Oh, he did. Yeah. He like how do you oh, that's, how, so that's how you know this conversation happened? I didn't know yes. if I had told you this off air. No, that's how I know this conversation happened was through his podcast. So Oh, what did he say about it? Uh I don't remember exactly, but he was oh, he was talk what the way it got brought up was he was talking about how all of all of these racers need to have YouTubes and stuff and like pursue that. And then he said he ran into you at the airport and you guys had a conversation about it. Yeah. So yeah, so that's. <clears throat> and oh, I don't remember a, little, a collab coming up. Yeah, you guys got a collab. No, I'll be I'll be all about it. But I did tell him that we need to do some kind of training session this summer. There you go. Yeah, yeah you need to go cool. do some of his schools, man. Yeah, that'd be. He's he's doing some interesting things. I think he's got a facility too. He got any factory parts snuck on that bike? You Maybe think? he gets a lot of stuff from them Lawrence brothers. I uh, yeah, I bet some some sneaky stuff is made its way to that bike he's rode the 450 i'll tell you that so um all right so kev what are you doing for the off yeah. week bro 
Um, as of right now, I have a flight to go back home Thursday, and then I come back down here to Florida Sunday. Um, hmm. So probably going back home. Still could cancel it, stay down here, but I'll probably go spend a couple days at home, get some stuff wrapped up. Cool. And uh, get some stuff going up there, and then come back down and get back to work next week, and then go race. Sweet. Sir, little golf? Little, little, uh, little yeah, dude, I'd be stuff. down for some golf. Yeah. Well, hey. I don't keep know. It we'll loose, see, man. I didn't know if it'd be back to the grind zone, or you're gonna have a little bit of fun with it. Um, I want to go back to the grind zone, but same situation that I was dealing with last year. Just got to be smart with body and whatnot. Like, I mean, we're 11 rounds deep. Like, mm-hmm. grinding right now probably isn't the move. It's more just maintaining and being smart. Yeah, yeah. A couple Is... white claws <laughs> and, a, and a nine iron. That's all you need. Yeah, that's definitely not <laughs> nine iron for sure. He's Dude, okay. I'm running on like an hour of sleep from last night, so any alcohol in my system would destroy me. He's only he's only half a white claw on a good day, man. Like, trust me, he yeah. doesn't need any more than that. Well, um, he was up all night in the van after leading a lap. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he, he, Dude, he I say- was I was up for a while because of that. Ah, all right. Uh, <laughs> nice. Wait, what? Nothing. 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 I think I took that wrong. I, I was actually saying. Yeah, we were we were we were giggling. Yeah, we were we were doing. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. No, I was just like actually awake for a while because I was stoked on the situation. Ah. Uh, uh, no, no, no funny business. Okay. Strictly business. Yes, strictly business. Okay. Because right. I, I mean, you saw you probably saw my Instagram stories. I was at the stadium till one a.m. organizing footage. I did see that. Yes. Yes, I did. I watch that stuff occasionally. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude, organizing footage is a bitch. Big pain in the ass. Yeah, big pain in the ass. Like, but the demise. My, I need to hire somebody for that. So the vlogs are looking good, man. I do enjoy. Thank those you. Too. I appreciate it. Yeah. What, so yeah, dude. What? How do you organize it? You just you pulling them? Uh, what are you putting? One in the front, two in the front. T- teach our man Travis here a little bit. What do you mean one in the front, two in the front? What do you well, mean? Well, you put like uh, one uh, in, on the clip. And then two for the next one to keep them in, in line. Yeah. Yeah. So I do them. Yeah. So I put them in. Uh, I go ahead and organize them by name. Mm-hmm. And then I change all the number or all the names of them to just one MP4, two MP4, three MP4, mm-hmm. one after another. No, and no. then I, like, so that's what I do inside of the folders. And then I obviously label the folders. You know, track walk is number one. Free right. practice is number two. Quality one is number three. Quality two is number four. Heat race, main wrap up kind yeah. of deal. Fan interactions, you know, kind of a bonus one kind of deal. Yeah. So yeah. it's kind of a bitch at yeah. first, but that probably makes it so much easier when you're mm-hmm. dropping them in the timeline. Yeah, especially yeah, especially <coughs> for the editor, it helps him a lot too. Yeah. Yep. Sweet, sweet. Uh-huh. Yeah, that stuff's kind of interesting because. As you know, both of us are kind of interested in the the editing side and the production side of things. Yeah, so it's kind of interesting to hear about so, that. So it was obviously a solid weekend. I had four people come up and sign the bike, um, so that was cool. And then I had after the heat race, where I whole shotted Christian Craig, Paige Craig came over with her videographer. Big and Paige Craig paid, fan over here. No, did you? And see? Yep. paid she paid me to sign the bike nice so yeah. she she supported the program to sign the bike which is pretty cool because he said she said that jagger was watching my daytona vlog on the way to the race or whatever and saw that you could do that and whatnot she thought it was pretty cool love that girl hell yeah that's awesome yeah huge christian craig yeah, fan thought, because no. of his wife <laughs> no was this before or after that, i, I seen her cool. vlog camera got stolen or some shit what yeah no shit this yeah. weekend yeah oof yeah, uh, what a shitty weekend too with the main of or the whole, the heat race win and all that. But yeah, I saw it on her story or something. It was a picture of a camera and it said, "Whoever stole this camera needs to get slapped in the face." And it was like their their vlog <laughs> camera, I think. Yeah, shitty. It's rough, but that's rough. Kev, I got one more question for you before we let you go here. Yeah, you need some sleep, bro. Yep. I know you've been watching a bunch of different stuff this week. And I'm, I, I don't remember if I asked you last week. What are your thoughts on the Deegan Smith thing? Dude. <laughs> who, who do you so, put the blame pie on? Uh, both of them, to be really honest. I mean, one, it, it kind of started with, I thought, <clears throat> oh, sorry, so my personal opinion, right? They're going through the whoops. Jordan does have more momentum, momentum around the outside, but Hayden's in the lead, and he has every right to, you know, kind of take him up high on that 
that wall because obviously after you come out of the whoops, everybody goes to that wall anyway. So that's fair play. Uh, and then they go into the next corner. What I didn't like is how like Danger Boy like checked up, looked over, and tried to like yep. play too much of a cat mouse. Okay. Yep. So then the next corner was obviously <laughs> even more cat mouse, and then he hit him. And so like I thought that was that was definitely un- a little bit uncalled for from being teammates. Um, and then. <clears throat> So I think it was instigated too much by Deegan. But then, honestly, it's kind of Jordan's fault, too, because he should have known better than to try to do what he did in in that 90 degree. Mm -hmm. He should have waited. He knew he was faster than him. He knew he was going to get him in the whoops the next lap. Like, he could have set him up or even did the same thing back to him in a better situation. He just got irritated quickly and tried to, you know, take him out, and he screwed himself over. So Mm -hmm. it's just part of the game kind of deal. Fair analysis. But I blame yeah. I blame Smith a whole bunch on it. So <laughs> what, dude? Yeah, Smith. I mean, I'm I'm with you. What, he, what I yeah. mean in the sense of blaming Smith is yes, Smith should have. Better kind yes, of deal. Yeah. there's no way he yeah. should have tried. I mean, dude, if you watch that video when he runs it in on that 90 on him, it's into his swing arm. Like, bro, that's never gonna work. Yeah. So no. he's you're way too veteran to be doing dumb shit like that. You should have waited, yeah. let the rest of the heat. I mean, at worst case, you get second in the heat to him. OK, great. You go up and say, hey, I let you have that. You fuck with his mind like you would have got him anyway. And you tell him he owes yeah. you a thousand bucks out of that fucking bonus. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, no, dude, we did. We did. a We did a recap on that last week, dude, and it blew up and it was awesome. So. <laughs> well, good deal. So, yeah. So. All right, man. Well, get some sleep. Thanks for coming on. I know you're tired. So, uh, but we appreciate it. And we had to get you on, obviously, because of uh, last night was awesome. Yeah. 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 I appreciate that. You know what I mean? We got we got a little dog in the fight. We ain't going to do a layover. So we'll keep it going. Look, I'm expecting nothing but hole shots for the rest of the season. Listen, so. I, like, the <laughs> hole shots, dope, but the pass around the outside. That's where I'm, I'm jazzed up. Yeah. Well, Fighting that. for it. I'm surprised Chase hasn't said he'd give you some money just to, you know, hold Cooper and Tomac up. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, man. All right, man. Get some sleep. We'll talk to you later, bud. All right. Thanks, guys. Yeah, later. All right. Privateer hero Kevin Morans. That was awesome. That was kick ass. Watching him do that last night, it really warms the heart, you know? Oh, it was cool as hell. Yeah. It was super cool. And you know, in his helmet, as he goes over that finish, he's just freaking out like, this is great. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, I, and then he was going into that corner after the where Sexton ended up weeding it. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God, his heart rate is probably, like, fucking 500 right now. Has to be. <laughs> Has to I was be. like, he can finish wherever the hell he wants. Like, mm-hmm. this is just cool. So. Yeah, as he's sitting there on the hay bale, I'm like, dude, screw it. Just leave the bike. Just sit at the top of the berm. Just watch the just rest watch of the race. The race. <laughs> 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 like, like, bro, you just hole shot it and let a, let a lap. Like, yeah. screw it. So, yeah. God damn, the the, the pit thing, though. That's, that's frustrating. <sighs> There's a lot of those, though. I mean, it's David Pooley, bro. Look, I respect dude. his marketing and what he's done for himself or whatever, but dude, yeah, I don't know, man. You're barely There's, making fast forties. We're not gonna look, dude. We're just we're moving on. Um, all right, let's do the uh, complete racing solutions comment of the week, and then we'll take a break, turn all the cameras on, do the 450 recap. The rest Maybe of the you'll show. take a fucking nap. <sighs> Need to. Um, all right, so uh, complete racing solutions comment of the week, and we had a bunch to choose from because oh, yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> that freaking hey, before you get into this Deegan though, video blew did you watch up Deegan's Instagram story last night no <laughs> and I don't he, he wasn't talking about us he was talking about everybody on YouTube but he's like you know how he is he's like yeah <laughs> yeah let's see all the no-name idiot YouTubers talk about this topic <laughs> when he was talking <laughs> about the like Jet and McAdoo thing don't worry like, that's on my list yeah yeah so Deegan was in there and uh even Danger Boy was in it, and they were just being sarcastic, just playing into it, like, that's not a vet move, and like stuff like that. Dude. And I, Brian was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Twitter sphere was blowing up with that. Like, did you see Fortner comment on it? Fortner said something. Oh, Smith ended up deleting his shit. Smith deleted it? Oh, it's lame. Uh, but good thing Supercross grabbed it. Yeah. Um, I like the But I don't Deegan know who's comment. running that, because Deegan doesn't have social media on his phone. Yeah, it's true. So I bet you that's Brian sitting Probably. there just with his spoon, just stirring the <laughs> just pot. Just stirring bro. the pot. But it was, I don't care who did it. It was awesome. It was awesome. When we they showed that, that on TV, I was laughing and so hard. And you know hard. who's laughing again? Feld. 
No. All the way to the bank. No. Oh, Brian. Oh, yeah. He's laughing his ass all the way to the bank, too. Yeah. God, yeah. I hope I, like, I really hoping I run into him on, like, Friday at one of the nationals this year to be like, yo, so please tell me that you're going to Feld and telling him you want money for just showing up to these damn races yeah. because, like, you're the reason people are here. Yeah. I mean, everybody's talking about how loud the stadium is whenever anything happens. Look with at that all kid. anybody talked about the last week, and we just fucking beat the topic again. We, Kev. we did. We did. I so. mean, dude, look at our video. I didn't even post that damn video until Thursday. Mm-hmm. Thursday. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Hey, so. but a lot of people agreed with your take. That was amazing. Which was there was a shit rare. ton of comments. That's I don't know rare. how many comments are on there. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I actually there was not as many naysayers to me as what I thought there was gonna be. There yeah. was a few, but yeah. it was very There's always few. gonna be a few. Yeah. Did you see me arguing with that one guy? Dude, I saw you making a few comments in there on different I, stuff. I was arguing with the guy about <clears throat> uh I don't know, just go back and, and look at it, but about I think he's a better supercross rider than a better outdoor rider. Oh, I did see that. And the guy was like, he's literally raced outdoors his whole life. And I was like, yeah, he's been on a factory bike and rode five laps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Look at his results from Ironman and wherever. Like, because think about it. Like, yes, supercross has been phenomenal. Mm -hmm. But you go outdoors, that's both coasts together. Look, here. So here's a point I pointed out to my dad last night because he was talking about how they were showing the comparison between him and Jet or whatever. And I said, yes. Deegan and Jet? Yes. And I said, that's fine. I go, here's the problem. Deegan is now getting into the amount of races that Jet started winning. And I don't see Deegan's going to start to win right right this second. He will mm-hmm. eventually. He will eventually. But right now, in race seven, eight, nine, he's not winning. Mm-hmm. So all of this comparison that, like, for the first four or whatever with Jet, where it's like, yeah, he crashed, broke his collarbone, he was, you know, 13th or whatever. Okay, cool, that's fine. Now we're going to get it. On top of that, Jet didn't ride Supercross growing up. Mm-hmm. So, like, that's a difference. Yeah. So, I don't know. It'll be interesting. Look, well, guess what? Neither one of them won a championship their rookie year like Trey Kennard did. No. They're both going to be great riders. But, yeah, we'll see. Yeah. I I have lots of thoughts on this, and we don't need to take up the whole show with it. No. Um. Anyway, get get to the comment yeah, of the week. Comment of the week comes to us from, ironically, the guy's name, Hill Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Deegan shirt tail riding is making the podcast world rich. Dot dot dot. L M A O. Okay. Haters getting paid. Dot 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 dot. Hypocrites. Why, yes, thank you for that comment, and yes, I am going to ride those coattails and get paid for this all the way to the bank, and in fact, the next time I see Hayden, I will make sure to buy his dinner, (laughs) because he is making me a shitload of money right now. That's economics, bro. I was going to say, this is stupid. This is like everybody for the last, what is it now, six years talking about Trump? They can't even not stop talking about Trump. The guy hasn't been in office for two years. Well, hey, guess what? You want to talk smack about us for putting Deegan as a topic? When he made his rookie debut, Swap Moto had him in the thumbnail. Racer X had him in the thumbnail. Verb Moto had him in the thumbnail. Like, Let me just tell you the most ironic part. We were the last people to post literally just a video about that from last week. Yeah. So, and guess what? Still did record views for us. What's a record view for us? People are going to laugh at us. I mean, for a video I post on a Thursday about a race from the week before, it did 16,000 views is what it topped out at. It did 1,000 views in the first hour. If you have a video that is producing 1,000 views per hour for the first however many hours, you're doing really doing effing right. well if you're under a million subs. So we need to... Uh... Yeah, that's definitely more motivation for us to get better at what we do mm-hmm. too, to to find more topics and stuff. So yes, yes. So, so thank you, comments. So yeah, so thanks to Hill Brothers for your comment of the week. Brought you to you by Complete Racing Solution. Josh? I don't know. The picture didn't look like either one of them. I'm so too smart ass. I don't think it was. I almost said something, but it's politically incorrect, and so I'm out. So anyway, um, <laughs> all right, let's take a break. We'll come back. We will do the 450 race recap. We will do uh, tinfoil hat any rants that we come up with and then we'll do the 250 race recap and then we'll wrap this up so we will be right back 
All right, and we are back. So let's get started here. 450 race recap brought to you by our friends at Gutterworks. Always well hung, just like Justin Barsha. <clears throat> Links in the description down below there. All right. So Eli Tomac picks up his 50th Supercross victory, which is insane. Six on the season. Six on the season, 50th in his career. I mean, it's wild. And he, that was a weird day. He didn't look good. Well, flustered no, in practice. Weird, weird day. He was on top of the board for a little while in practice. Um, and Not then, second practice. Well, um, also in the heat race, even though he did ride around in third there, um, I don't know if it was Clinton Fowler or somebody pointed out that, hey, uh, Tomac had the fastest lap three for three laps in that heat race. Did he really? And I, uh, I saw that, and I looked at Rusty. I was like, Tomac's mm-hmm. winning tonight. He had a weird couple laps there where he was shuffling back, and then he got it back together, and it was yeah. just like, oh, yeah, this is the guy. See, I was just... I don't know, like the heat race, it was kind of weird. Like, I didn't really pay that close of attention to him, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then, like, um, practice, like, that second qualifying was super weird because he, like, didn't get a lap till almost the end. And then it was still only, like, fifth. And then, like, at one point, he's throwing his hands up at guys because they're getting in his way. Like, it was very not Tomac. Well, you know what else was very not Tomac was him using race lines, not going for a fast lap. Yeah, it's true, Where he was slowing up, going (laughs) over the table, and doing the rhythm out of the ruts. Yep. And I was like, damn, that's going to be good in the main. Yep. And then that one, that whoop line that he came up with in the main. Yeah. That nobody was doing. Where yeah. He was, was he on the Bouncing l- off that berm and then going down the left side. And yes. Just, oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Super fast. And then, yeah, just scrubbing the shit out of that triple. Yes. Yeah, that was... <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. It's... um, Like, I, I thought that was impressive. Were you... You visibly set yourself apart from the other guys and he did that last night yeah and i mean coming back from the last two weeks which have not been good you know Mm -hmm. he had the kind of mysterious neck injury it was impressive to see him come back and and win one here so Mm -hmm. and you know he's got two red plates now he's tied for the points lead so that's a thing he's good in arizona he's real good and it's a triple crown yep I don't know. We're we're shaping up for a good one, boys. Dude, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. We'll get to second place here. Cooper Webb. Did he not look happy, or did he not look happy after that main? He looked pissed. He looked and, real uh, upset, dude. He was trying his <laughs> balls off. Like, I, oh yeah. I don't think I've ever watched Coop and just been like, oh my god, he's trying so hard. Mm-hmm. And you could visibly see it. And, yeah, uh, dude, he wasn't letting go until about. You know, three, four laps. I think he was like, "Damn, I guess I I got to give this one up. I'm not gonna be able to do this." But yeah, he was keeping him there, but he wasn't making any time on him. No. And uh, dude, I don't. Coop's gonna have to start playing some mind games or something. He already started playing them with Sexton, so that's yeah. uh, Sexton's out of his way <laughs> now. Um, and I don't know if he's playing the mind games with Sexton for. You know, I'm, I'm going back to the gunslinger thing and yeah, the race. yeah. Um. He knows Sexton can kind of get in there and throw a wrench in there. I think he knows that Sexton can maybe sit, fit in between them. Yeah. So he's like, I got to get this guy riled up and just get him out of here. Yeah. Yeah, the gunslinger move to me was kind of douchey, um, mostly because it's like, dude, you weren't running away from Sexton. He was catching you. So. Yeah, it's different than the last gunslinger where he yeah. caught rocks and passed, passed him and, him and did it. Him. Yeah, so it's... I understand why he did it. I still think it was kind of douchey. I think it's kind of badass, though. I mean, it is badass because you just don't see guys have that kind of confidence anymore. That's ballsy. Yeah. Here's the thing. I want to see. So I guess there's a group chat with like Coop, Rarick, Mathis, and uh, uh, Phil. (laughs) Phil. Yeah. And I guess all they do is talk shit to Coop. Just nothing but talk. Like two time champ, he'd do something like that gunslinger, and they'd be like, "Man, you're so gay," or something like that. Like, just yeah, why would you do that? You yeah, just ridiculous, just ridiculous yeah. stuff. Talking shit to this guy. So I'd love to see that group chat after he did that Definitely. and see if they were talking shit or like real, real pumped on it or whatever. Yeah, it's like the taunt from playing video games. Yeah, I'll tell you what though, if Sexton goes out and wins that main last night, and I know it's big if, so like let's just calm it down. I know he didn't. Yeah. He looks real douchey then. 
like real dude because oh, it's like dude you but i i also think i think ktm's a big i the the through the grapevine is that teams obviously know that if sexton starts putting this together he is going to be unstoppable because no one is as fast as him not even eli at this point is as fast no, as he had sexton another one is. i think on a platter last yeah night, but. and um but I think KTM, <laughs> which is ironic because that's where he's going next year, I think KTM is really scared about him getting it going. And probably Coop is part of that thing of like, dude, I cannot keep Don't this, let guy's this guy pace. Get going. Yeah, because as far as far as Eli is off the pace of him when he's when Sexton's moving, Coop's twice as far. Like if Eli's half a second, Coop's mm-hmm. a second a lap yeah. further Coop, back. Coop's like Ricky, like yeah. he ain't the fastest. No. Guy. So Hence the reason I think he's very smartly pl- trying to play the mind games and that kind of stuff to uh, to get in his head there a little bit, which is smart. And I don't know that that is what caused last night to happen because last know. night happening was pretty much the same shit we've seen out of Chase for the last what six they weeks. Do with the front end of that bike, but whatever. We'll get to him. In Here's a minute, the thing: but. if you're KTM watching that, like, what do you do? Like, are you just like, oh yeah, our front end's so much better? I don't know. Coop can turn that bike on the front end. Craig still can't go through the woods very well, but <laughs> I don't know, man. I I don't think KTM is a good move for him. But... It's not. No, let's just put it this way: the only way it's a good move is if he goes to work with Alden and Alden fixes this. Because now it's now it's into a mental thing. Mm-hmm. Like I don't care what you say with Sexton here; it's full blown mental. I don't. You know where it would be badass for Sexton? Where already a monster guy. Oh, put, him on the, star? put him on the green bike with a claw. Ooh, I don't know, because he likes the front end too much, and those green bikes turn in the rear. Mm, I don't, I, they got a new bike coming, though. Well, maybe. I don't know, but, yeah, it's interesting. But um, but back to Webb. Back to Webb. Uh, so this is interesting, too, because he's never relinquished a points lead. No. So I know they're tied, technically, at this point, but... He's just going to have to stay in it and hope for another one of these weird slumps that Eli's known for. Do you think he gets it, though? I don't know. Coming down into the stretch like this? I don't know. Where, Cause cause where are we going? We're going to Nashville, which I don't even know who. Let's see. Where where did Tomac do last time we went to Nashville? I think he won. He what won was on the la- What was the last time we were in Nashville? Was it 19? No. Probably 18 or 19. 21. Probably 19. Let's see here. I don't know. Either way, they both got the red plate. They're sharing it, which is kind of cool. How cool is it that number one and number two both have the red plate? That is pretty sweet. That's pretty sweet. And what? then, uh, yeah, man, Coop is just going to have to go home and do his homework. Um, I, and if I'm him, I'm trying to figure out some hard pack stuff because that's that's what they're going to be on the next little bit. Yeah. And uh, uh, um, Eli's good on that stuff. Last time we were at Nashville was 2019, and Eli won. Yeah. <laughs> Who got second? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Where was see. Coop at? Hold on uh third so Who's not terrible second? either bag it what yeah go figure right Where's that guy at? uh who knows is he alive he's lost in the ether so yeah so okay so we've got glendale which is like one of tomac's houses uh we've got nashville which obviously tomax won at We've only been there, I think, what? Damn, we're yawning a lot. Today. We are. It's terrible. Um, We go to New York, to MetLife. Ooh, he shit the bed there, though. Yeah, he has shit the bed there. That hasn't been great for him. Where, uh, let's see, if Coop here. Sorry, I know this is riveting radio, but it's like, I just want to see I think Coop will be good at, like, East Rutherford or wherever, though. Yeah, let's um, see. I don't know. Either way, we got a hell of a battle, and, and how blessed are we as fans? 2019 to... East Rutherford. Coop won. Yeah, so... <laughs> Um, I mean, how blessed are we as fans of the sport to have the outdoor season that we had yeah. with Sexton and Tomac and now Tomac versus Webb? Yes. Yeah, like, these are... It, it's not the same, but <coughs> it, it's the same but different. And here's so. the thing. It's still weird because there's like however many other guys, obviously, that can still get in there. Look at last week. You had mm-hmm. Sexton, obviously, can get in there every single week. You had AP last week, should have won that race. Kenny wins two weeks ago in uh, Indy. Barsha's right there fighting for it. Like, contract Barsha's really exciting. Yeah. Obviously, everybody's waiting on Ando to do something towards the front. AC appears to be... Somewhat fixed. Somewhat fixed. It's weird. Um, they're finally coming around on the bike with Craig to where he's like running up there somewhat. So like 
you've got all of this stuff. I mean, it's not just a hard, steadfast. It's going to be Webb and Tomac yeah. one, two the rest of the year. There's a lot of other dudes that on a start on a track like last night, because last night, let's face it, there was a lot of lines, but man, it wasn't really a lot of passing per yeah. se. Yeah. Um, I was thinking about this on the way here. Like, even a guy like Justin Hill, what's he going to do with a start? Yeah. Like, yeah. So. So I don't know, um, but it's interesting that ninth place in qualifying for Webb though was weird. Uh, the qualifying <coughs> doesn't worry me with him, but ooh, maybe I don't even remember. Oh yeah, birthday boy, birthday boy Barsha. Third. Yeah, Barsha third dude. There. He came from what seventh? Contract Barsha is exciting. I like contract Barsha. He's so good, and then he's so bad the other years. Just like yeah. it doesn't matter to him. Yeah. I'll be. How far is he out of third in points? You think he torpedoes Chase? Oh, like he did here. Mookie. Oh, he's in sixth. Oh, he's always down. Yeah, he's he's fighting for a top five bonus. Yeah, so. no, nah, he's he's out. Weird that uh, or crazy to think that it's ten grand for twentieth in points and nothing for twenty first. Ten grand actually shocked me. That yeah, that, that shocked that's me. That's crazy. By that ten grand shocks you, but yeah. Um. So yeah. So that was a good ride for Barsha, though, man. God, he is. Uh, no, oh, he's exciting, man. He he's got it. He says the only thing he's trying to fix is he's trying to make his starts a little bit better. Dude, if you can get a start. Oh yeah. Oh god, we're in he's for there. it. He's there. He's there, man. We're, so we're but he, but he's up there mixing it up every week now. It kind of was it's like It's been somewhat clean lately. That's a weird thing too, right? Like the last 3 rounds, there have been opportunities for him to really throw it in on people that normally we would see Barsha do. Yeah, yeah. And it hasn't been happening. Yeah. Maybe it's like a Nah, uh, he hasn't turned the corner. But no. maybe it's like no. a, maybe it's like <laughs> no, no, no. a holy shit, I'm passing these guys clean and pulling away. What yeah. do I need to be dirty for? Yeah, I don't know, man. He's he's so wild to watch him in a contract year, man. So yeah, um what do you say he was? Thirty one? I think so. Yeah. Thirty one. He's got a kid, a little and a Tesla, and a wife. And a Z06 vet. It's weird. He must have sold that. Probably. I don't know. He's trying to sell his compound right now. He's got R eights too, I think. I don't know that he's still got those. I think he sold all know. that. Either stuff. way, he's been paid very well throughout oh, his Oh yeah, career. he's made he's made tons of money. He's trying to sell his compound. Hmm. Trying to sell the BAM land. It's weird. Is Edgewood Farm buying it? I don't know. No. Um all right, Jason Anderson fourth. Anderson's this weird, quiet top five guy this year that everybody thinks should be doing Such more. A weird season for I was gonna say then you get done and he's like fourth or fifth and you're just like, oh. It's way right. too reminiscent of his championship defending year but he didn't win a title last year that's a crazy thing i mean he nine race damn near won a title one like, seven, his, like, yeah i'm sure his expectations went way up <sighs> probably the expectations on him and went way here up. we are now yeah so <sighs> oh man it's but i, I was happy to see him kind of dude you keep making me yawn bro. i know dude i'm sorry i can't <laughs> help it it was oh, gonna be a great, great show. Me. Great show. Uh, we're doing, we're doing big we're things. We're doing here. great things. But um, no, I, he, I was happy to see him kind of get to the back of that that pack and kind of get in the mix. Yeah. Um, and I think he came through a couple guys. Came through Roxon and AP and, and some mm-hmm. of those guys. So. Yep. I don't know. Not the guy we saw last year. Nope. Not at all. Um. All right. Fifth is Sexton. Where Where are we at here? I mean, I. Get, Okay, this is another one of just like a weird crash. What the fuck happened? He, I mean, okay, we saw in well, the, the front replay. End stepped out. I mean, say we saw in the replay very clearly. He kind of got outside that rut, and the front end started to step out. Okay, no, cool. no, it got on that chatter. But then my question is, is like, how the hell does it go from like stepping out, and you should have just basically slid out to like it just <laughs> full blown <laughs> stops, like it hit a fucking force field, and just whoop, and you're yeah. like, what? I don't understand. And how does this keep happening? Dude, it's so weird. Like, how does this happen? Is it? I don't know what it is, man. It's 100% mental now. It's 100%. There is no way. You can't blame the bike a little bit for front Dude, end feel? No way. No way. Not this many times in a row. Fool me once. Shame on me. Fool me twice. Or f- wh- however the hell it goes. Whatever. whatever. It's in that J. Cole song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's in that J. Cole song. But, dude, no way. That is just... It's like, dude, you've done the same thing too many times. Like, like, what are you... And, and now here's the thing. It's like every single... I mean, look at last week. It even yeah. happened last week, and he still won, but it still happened. Yeah, where he mentally 
aired yeah. and went over the... Like I said, the only way KTM fixes this is if he's training with Alden and... Uh, oh, I thought that was you that said chair. Um, if he's training with Alden and Alden somehow clicks that mental piece in there because he's confident because of working with Alden. Do you think, and I've heard some people maybe point to this, but do you think it has anything to do with his dad still being the right-hand man? Could be. Could be. It's kind of like AC. Maybe it's time to try something new, man. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's time to try something new. Maybe it's time for dad to go, okay, it's time to take the reins off here. I'm here, here, but... Yes, I'm here, but find somebody else to do this for a while and see if it works. Mm Mm-hmm. It's like Chase knows what he's doing. He's trained with his dad for plenty of years. Mm-hmm. His but, dad's always been the technique guy. Yeah. Maybe he needs somebody else for the mental guy. Maybe. But it's interesting, too, because wasn't he working with... Uh, he was working with James for a while, too, though. Uh, yeah, I don't know, though. I, because you can't forget, we've talked about this before. It was... What was he going through? Mechanics like crazy or something? And we were like, well, there's one common denominator here. So, I don't know, man. It's, he's got to do something slightly different to make, try to make something different happen because this ain't working. And what I mean by it's not working is, dude, you're balls fast, bro. Like you are balls fast, Mm -hmm. but like you cannot keep making these little mistakes. Like you, like we, we've seen this. Okay. This is JS seven almost reincar, except for James would pull it together yeah so like dude i don't know man you gotta do something dude yeah even when he got back up though like as fast as he is i thought i'd see a little more fight yeah he could come back through the pack and he was just kind of deflated yep which i don't blame him yeah i'll be interested to hear this week like how he acted afterwards because obviously oh it's gotta be getting hard there's no way it's still like first few times okay haha you know whatever we'll get it fixed we'll get it handled now we're in what this is what what round are we in we got seven to go so, or no six to go six to go now yeah so, we so we've been through 11 rounds we've had five or six in a row you've done this yeah. it's starting to be a bad look man like you're gonna go the last six and do this in every single one of them too where your ball's fast and you're literally leading the main and then fastest in practice yeah every week yeah by a lot too not a little bit not a tenth you're like a half second plus yeah like, it's nuts. Yeah, and Kiefer pointed this out, and I, and I think it has a lot of truth to it, too. He's really good at coming out of the corner and getting off the seat and soaking up that way instead of seat bouncing. Okay. So, if you watch him, he gets up and he soaks up that first one into the rhythm section where all the guys are yeah. seat bouncing. So, 10th there, 10th there, 10th mm-hmm. there. You know, that could be the half up to second. a half a second a lap because you're yep. going out of the, the corner every you know four or five corners so yep um i think that has a lot to do with it and even i don't know if it was him i was watching or jet did something that where he seat bounced it but he still like scrub seat bounce i don't know it was badass though aj talks about that with watching jet and hunter ride um on a daily basis out at the dog pound there mm-hmm. and he's like dude they're scrubbing off of tabletops on on offs and he's like and it's not just like an on off like they're on and then like two off or whatever you know going two out or whatever from it he's like and they're go. he's like dude jet will go so fast he's scrubbing off of this tabletop he's like it's insane to watch you can't even believe that they're doing it so yeah it's Mm -hmm. things like that with guys like chase and jet and those kind of guys that's like holy crap so um all right uh so kenny sixth okay indy still fluke just proves that indy was more flukish and start dependent than anything man mm-hmm. so because this track was very similar yeah so he was up in the mix a little bit he was still. he was he was in and out there so um ap seventh i was hoping to see a rebound ride. i was too but that track didn't was. lend itself to him at all yeah if it had rained okay but being that kind of just like weird mushy had rained wasn't raining type stuff um ac was eighth he is he showed up in practice a little bit though. yeah he's starting to show sparks again which is cool to see mm-hmm. will we see it by the end of the year who knows i just hope he's healthy through outdoors yeah me too that damn dude outdoors is shaping up to be really good at least those first few rounds 
I can't wait to see Jet on the 450. Well, we got Jet on the 450. Just yarding. We got the Danger Zone. Yep. We got Chase. We yep. got Eli. A potentially healthy... Um, whoever the fuck did we just talk about? I had a brain fart. Potentially AC. healthy uh, AC. Yep. Or somewhat healthy AC. Yep. Um, and how about a... How about an AP outdoors? Yep. And we'll then see. how about how about the next guy? Uh, or not the next guy on the list, but uh, Justin Barsha, contract year. Outdoors. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That dude can, Always a that dude can rip outdoors, too. Yep. Uh, well, we could talk about the next guy on the list, too. Christian Craig. Uh, dude, actually a hell of a ride for him. I'm pretty bummed that he had the luck he had. And, of course, he was my all-star. He so. wrecked in the – or he crashed in the yeah, first couple laps. back to yeah. 10th. Because I saw him uh, back there with Kev at one point, and mm. <laughs> I was like, uh-oh, yep. uh-oh. So, But, I mean, good heat race there, too. Gets the uh, start. I know. I will put an asterisk next to it. I sound like a hater. Oh, boy. Here we go. The second heat race was much more stacked. Yes. Yes, it was. Yes. I mean. It's not, that's, not even, that's not an asterisk. That's just truth, okay? Yeah. I mean, who did he have in that heat? I don't remember. To be I honest, mean, I don't I remember. I mean, he pretty much got the start. Well, Barsha. Or no, his AP was on his ass. Yeah. So, I mean, good for him, though. I hope that's a confidence booster. Me too. Um, Which I think it will be. Yeah, I, I hope so. And it's it shitty that the main thing happened where he went down and didn't really get to <laughs> carry that momentum over. But. Welcome to the 450 class. Bud. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah. So, so. Um, Hopefully right. they get their blog camera back. <laughs> yeah, I hope so, dude. Big Craig fans Probably over some here. good footage on there. All right, uh, Justin Hill, 10th. Dean Wilson. Oh, you're just going to skip over Justin Hill again. He got 10th. Top 10 guy. That's great. He's a top 10 guy. Sure. Uh, Two years off. Top 10 every week. Oh, boy. Anyway, uh, Dino, 11th. Uh, poor guy. Still can't crack. Still he was can't in get into like the top two 10. laps to go. Yep. Uh, Josh Hill, 12th. So Damn, that's dude, cool. Dude, like Josh Hill, too, is like. Dude, I know, for an old guy. What the thing is, he's been. <laughs> he went out of the LCQ last mm-hmm. week yep. in Detroit and then went top, got 10th. Mm-hmm. This week goes out of the LCQ second yep. to twelve. I was he showed so he showed some veteran savvy in that LCQ because he definitely threw it in on uh what was his name Cartwright. there Cartwright on the last corner but was smart enough to throw it in but not make contact mm-hmm. which I thought was a very veteran move because mm-hmm. going in there because I had Cartwright on my fantasy team of Same. course and I'm like. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Don't oh my god! It. Yes, just don't do that. You don't like. I know that. I know that it's your hometown and you want to win and stuff. But like, please don't be that stupid. And he wasn't. So congratulations. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. Um. All right. Uh. Hawaii Zone. Grant Harlan. Thirteenth. Freddie Norin. Uh. Season best. Fourteenth. Yep. Benny. Fifteenth. Got taken out by Harlan. So that's whatever. Uh. Shane McElrath there. Eh. 16th that's kind of who he is it's, yeah i'm kind of bummed man dude, Poor where guys. do you think he would be if he wasn't on the suzuki <sighs> dude i don't know if it's a suzuki thing to be honest with you he's got that he had that back problem and i'm yeah but dude it's, i know we haven't heard anything about it but it, it's know. crazy that sexton's where he is and mm-hmm. shane ran with him yeah i don't know i'm i'm not sure man i'm yeah. not sure um cartwright 17th cheers <sighs> Kickstarting it. Kickstarting it. Chiz, 18th. Chiz is having a rough Chiz. year. No, Chiz is having a rough year. I bet I would... He, he is one I would be interested to see on his old on Yamaha the there. Yeah. yeah. See what. See if that was different. Uh, Starley, 19th. Kev. Uh, my fantasy team as well. And kind of shit. <clears throat> yeah. Did you see in qualifying, Starling go across the lane yeah. and about take the boys out? Yeah. Yeah. I, was like, I had to rewind shit. to see it because yeah. they were like, holy crap, did you see Starling? And I was like, what? I rewind. I was like, whoa. And I was like, how did he do that? Because it wasn't a rhythm section coming into that corner. No. Um, Moran's 20th. Cole Seeley makes his return to racing. That was interesting. <sighs> I bet he hated his life coming back to that track. I don't know why you would choose Seattle. Listen, I... I got all the races come back to Seattle. Yeah. That's Seeley, where you're going to do it. His come comeback on. is very interesting to me just because it was... You know, when he retired, it was like, my head isn't in this. I don't want to do this anymore. It's, I don't want to take the risk. So I knew he was probably going to be a head case coming into this. Yeah. And how hard has he really been working? Like, I see him on Instagram, and he's been in, like, Idaho. Yeah, he moved to Idaho. 
It's and weird. He's been back on a bike for maybe like two, three weeks, maybe. Here's, here's the thing. He, I think he's like a lot of these guys. He retired and he doesn't know what to do. But yeah. he's got enough money. Well, I think he, he was banking on his YouTube doing better than what it is. Oh, well, that's probably true too. I haven't really paid much attention. I did watch one of his YouTube videos probably like two or three months ago. Mm-hmm. But like other than that, yeah, I haven't really watched anything. I have to go look and see. But yeah, he's doing bike builds and stuff. But that's fine. But. You have to consistently do it. So, like I said, I haven't really paid attention. Maybe he is. Maybe he isn't. I'm not sure. World Supercross he's doing. Yeah. So maybe he's just getting ready for that. I just think that a lot of these guys that, like, beat you up for so long because you're at such a high level, and then you step away, and you're like, oh, man, but I really did kind of like doing that. Yeah. Okay, well, what can I do? And here's the this is the problem with being a professional anything. Well, then you go back, and it's like, what's he going to do? Go race local races? He should. I mean, gate drops, but yeah, I was thinking it, about that. It too. is gate like, drops, but it's like, what the? For you mentioned what? he was super nervous, like like he was a rookie again, and I'm like putting that into perspective. Like, damn, you haven't raced in four years, mm-hmm. and you haven't even been off a gate, and you're dropping straight in with the big boys. Well, and he, uh, well, I mean, here's the thing though, he raced wor- those world rounds last year, and I, I don't think go think well. He was very prepared for that. So I don't think he was either. So I just don't think he knows what to do, to be honest with you. And yeah, I think that's a problem for a lot of these guys. He does you, seem kind of lost. You ride from the time you're five, and all you know how to do, and all you do every day is ride and ride and ride and ride. And then at 26 to 30, you retire, and all of a sudden it's like, well, I don't have to ride anymore. Well, what do I do now? Yeah. yeah. So, because, you know, it's like it's like what they put on the board there. What are your hobbies? Fitness. Every single one of them. Cycling. cycling. Golf. Oh, my God. Fitness. Yeah. Cycling. You made enough money to play golf the rest of your life? I don't think so. So, no. I don't know. Uh, And then rounding it out, Cade Clayson, 22nd. What's wrong with that guy? He's, uh, he's not been, at club. He's been trash this year. His head's just not in it this year. I don't know what it is. Maybe he's. I'm telling just, you, I don't think he's. I don't think he's training at uh, what's it called right now. So, like last year he did. Again, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Like last year he won the LCQ money, and he did. He trained it. He trained at uh, what's it called club, club all year, and his results show it. Now he's out doing his own thing. I don't know where he's training, but his results are showing it. Mm-hmm. Like is what happens when you go from a, at least semi somewhat of a program to no program. Just doesn't do it, man. Yeah, I can see that. This is also the same kind of guy that said James Stewart on a 125 to this <laughs> oh, day is faster through the whoops than anyone. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's got some hot takes. So, Dude, I, sometimes I can't tell if he's talking out of his ass or if he's serious. Well, you know, we interviewed him before the LCQ, so. Yeah, I mean, at least they filled that empty space with something. Yeah, that was weird, too. I wonder that if was that, Daniel Blair's idea. I wonder if that guy's okay. They crashed in the LCQ last night. Because I don't know if you paid attention, he was just laying there. Oh, on the 250 club? Yeah. Yeah. And it was like not just for a second he was laying there. It was like you saw a shot, he was laying there. Saw another shot, he's still laying he's there, not moving. Out. He was out. Mm-hmm. So we'll see this week, I'm sure. So anything else 450 wise here before we uh, move on? No, I think the rider you're referring to, though, was Trey Piero. Yes, that was it. Yes, yes, yes. So. All right, 450 race recap brought to you by our friends at Gutterworks. Always well hung, just like our friend Justin Barsha. So, contract year. Yep, contract year. So thanks, to Josh and Kayla over at Gutterworks for supporting the show. Make sure to check them out. Links in the description down below. Okay, you got a you have a rant? I don't really have a rant this week. I, I don't know, really know what I can rant about either. I was uh I mean I don't know, I, I Supercross to... six still sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Bones. <laughs> yeah. Um, um man, I wish I had I wish I had a good rant this week, but I really don't. There's nothing that's really crazy um everybody was pretty supportive of the deegan video which was crazy to see everybody was with me a lot of people saying thanks for pointing this out and actually saying it a lot of people subscribing because yeah. i said it like Let's there was see, a lot is, of what's my rant a lot of positives on our end this week i don't here. know maybe my rant right now is seeing everybody grinding hard for loretta's training for loretta's just yeah y'all just keep buying davy those new hampton houses yeah. it's very nice of you well, here's a little inside trick. You can go do ass at the area qualifier. Yeah. As long as you send your money in, you can go to the regional. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so the first step doesn't really even matter. No. Here's here's a little fun fun fact for you. I don't plan on qualifying for Loretta's ever. No. I would rather go just roll around. It's more fun going down there on a pit bike. I would just, rather just go roll around a Supercross Futures race than go to Loretta's. 
to be honest with you. Uh, so. Loretta's is fun to go hang out. Justin wants to go. The well, the track sucks though. Yeah, I do not like the track. Yeah, I don't know. Justin wants to go, so we'll see. Maybe we'll go down for a couple days. Boys trip down there or something. I don't know. Nah, see where we'll the see. budget is. Budget's still super low. So. Well, we're going to keep making Deegan videos. <laughs> yeah, we are. Every <laughs> single week here, man. Jeez, Louise. So, uh, All right. Uh, we should make a video that just, it says Hayden Deegan, period. <laughs> yeah. And then just see what it does. Just see what happens. Yeah. Just say Hayden Deegan a hundred times in it. And yeah, just like what Mr. Beast do, count yeah. to a thousand. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Hayden Deegan, Hayden Deegan, Hayden Deegan, Hayden Deegan. Hayden Deegan, Hayden Deegan. Um, all right, uh, so TLR tinfoil hat segment this week. Oh, boy. Did you listen to Jordan Smith interview that he did with Weech? I did not listen to it. So. How, do I, how tinfoil are we getting? Not super. Um, so last week, after the whole situation happened, right, we talked about the... Um, how there might have been an altercation in the pits afterwards, mm. correct? Okay. And so listen to uh, Weege talk to Jordan Smith on the uh, Racer X Exhaust podcast, which was really good. You should go uh, check it out. And, of course, he asked, you know, Smith, you know, what? Comment on it and tell him we sent you. Yeah. So, uh, so he asked Smith, you know, what happened after that, whatever. And so just to put this out here, because I have this in my notes to correct, from what I understand... Now, no one has confirmed that there was a that there was truly a physical altercation after that yeah, race. That was all speculation. That was all speculation, and it still is to this point. Okay, no one's confirmed it. Some people have kind of denied it, but if you listen to Smith's take on it, Kind of beats it, around the bush. It's open ended and beats around the bush enough to make you think, well, maybe. Did somebody push somebody? And I'm not talking about Hayden pushing Smith. So I don't know. Okay. And the guys in the comments from last week's video who are like, oh, well, he's a minor. Smith puts this. All right, look, dude, this is motocross. <laughs> Even the Deegans are not suing Smith if he puts his hands on. Hayden, unless he were Wait, like what are, what are literally you? beat the shit out of I him. I mean, okay? there's a guy in the 250 class that puts his hand on a minor all the time. He's dating a minor. I'm not going there. <laughs> um, but like I said, it the, and this is I've still got the tinfoil hat on about it. Um, Smith really leaves it open as like, yeah, temper. My temper was really high. It flared a lot and. There was words, but not really anything else type deal. I can't remember exactly how he worded it, but man, it was very vague and kind of open ended mm -hmm. to kind of be like, yeah, nothing really happened except for what actually happened type stuff. So tinfoil hat, I'm going to go with <laughs> there's more to it than just a hey, fuck you. But yeah, and also the narrative has been put out there. And I'll I'll just I'll just go full bore into this because there were tinfoil hat in it, so this doesn't count in real life. Um, the narrative has been put out there that there is zero issues between Hayden and Smith. Nothing, 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 except for I've heard some different things at the farm about maybe some. Uh, they called it hazing, but you know we'll call it uh, breaking, breaking in. in the rookie at the at the practice track type stuff. And, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's super interesting the way the narrative's being spun around it mm -hmm. and the way things are being said to make it seem, because there, because there were definitely people that were like, yeah, I've heard he's been, uh, that Hayden's been getting kind of, you know, shuffled around. And then I've heard that there was a possible phone call uh before the race from bobby regan no there, to is, there was a phone call okay so there was a phone call to uh, uh for a pep talk pep talk is how they're putting it a pep talk hmm. what what kind of pep talk does hayden deegan need he's a rookie just out there logging laps to log laps what kind of pep talk well you think bobby was like hey go go get us some publicity no i don't think bobby was saying that i have a feeling bobby was trying to diffuse a situation that's been hap been ongoing for the last several weeks here around the practice what, track was the pep talk before the main or was the it pep talk was the... before the race period yeah like during the day from what i understand mm -hmm. so 
I don't know, man. There's a lot of interesting stuff. This this is exactly the same as the bike, as Claimgate. Okay, exactly the same. There's a lot of mystery around it, and of course, nope, nothing shady's happening. No one, and it's fine, dude. We all understand. You're a however many year professional veteran of the sport and this 16 year old kid who wasn't even supposed to race supercross comes in and just starts dominating you mm-hmm. and justin's not here to fire back because justin would be on the other side oh he's not dominating he's dominating that entire star team period end of discussion i don't care that i don't care that thrashers want to race i don't care that uh i don't care that levi's want to race the talk of the star team is deegan period End of discussion. Kind of like the talk of the 250 class is Deegan and the Lawrence brothers. That's it. No one really gives a shit about the rest of the group. No. The rest of anybody. So, again, there's just a lot of mystery. So, my tinfoil is really tripping out because there's just so much going on up here uh, with what's going on around there that I think there's a lot more to this story than what we saw on Saturday night. And I think there's a lot more that happened both around Saturday and before than what we're being told and i'll keep digging to see if i can find anything else out but we'll see so tlr tinfoil hat no no i ain't got any. should we cut that to a two and a half minute video and post it yeah <laughs> then put, just put hayden deegan hayden period, deegan, period. Yeah. i will do that we'll see we'll just see what happens just fuck with people and put a picture of hayden with a tinfoil hat on yeah so. that sounds pretty hopperish yeah so all right um anything else we want to talk about before we do the 250s and kind of wrap the show up yeah, no okay all right uh so 250 race recap brought to you by our friends at Depp creative co if you need some custom graphics they got them i'm about to order some new ones for the old steed down there mm. is it staying gray nope it's going to change. Go gray, there ain't no other way. It'll be it'll be gray for the first couple videos of the year here because I'm it'll not going to put... It'll be gray or gay? It'll be gray. Gay? G-R-E-Y. Oh. Because I'm not going to put new plastics and graphics on to go ride around the practice track here, so... In the mud. Yeah. But when it makes its race debut, it will look different. What are you racing? I don't know. Every race at Red Bud outside of the qualifiers, probably. Wow, big Red Bud guy. I love Red Bud, dude. I love Red Bud so much. Mm. So, uh, I don't know. I should go over to Log Road for the qualifier next week. Dude, do it. Could have been a Moto Land this weekend. Take some uh, take some vids there or something. So, all right. Um, so two fifty race recap. All right, let's talk. Let's talk big news here. Let's get our let's get our uh, uh, viral more section. heat race talk. More heat race talk yeah. here. Let's get our viral section in here. All right. So the <laughs> McAdoo jet crash. What are your thoughts on it? Man, I and like Ricky said on the broadcast, he's like, I want to see a straight shot of it to see if there was some cross jumping 100%. or what went on. And they did show a straight shot of it, and it was, I couldn't really tell. I'd have I to go back either. and watch it a little bit. I don't but. think it was like, did did you see the last angle I saw was not like straight straight on. It was behind yeah. it, but it was still off a little bit. Yeah, I, I'm with you guys because I want to see does McAdoo go right? Does I Jack think go left? Went right. I mean, so McAdoo's race IQ there was great because he cut under and went, but yeah, I, I don't liked know. the idea of it, but he ran out of room. He did. Somebody, I don't know. I put it fifty fifty. Yeah. I mean, you can't you can't put the blame on one or the other. I like on McAdoo's side. Like, yes, I understand you want to go back up the inside. You had a, a line and saw it. But you, you still tried to thread the needle. And yeah, there wasn't enough of an opening there. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Jet, on the other hand, I mean, he didn't. He was just kind of a passenger at that point. Yeah. But I don't really know if I'm on board with like he's an angel kind of thing, where like he acts like he is. Yeah. And like, oh, that's cross jumping when he was pissed at Thrasher and all that. And like, dude, mm, yeah, you've done the same with Forkner. You may have done it there. Maybe it's not intentional. No, but neither was Thrasher's intentional. It was like the pot calling the kettle black. Or yeah. Whatever. Here's here's the thing. I think um, I think with both Lawrence brothers and Deegan here, um, whether they're angels or not, uh, I don't believe they're going to be uh, loved by other racers here as we go forward. And I think it. I think a lot of it is yeah. based on. Um, uh, just the reality of the situation, which is popularity and results. Yeah, and I don't, I don't know what's going on with Jet, 
but I, I see like a little bit of crybabyish. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I, I don't because like I, I don't put too much on him throwing his hands up. Like, dude, you're in the heat of the moment. Yeah, well, this guy comes that, up on even a after weird the line main, on you. Huh? Even after the main, he won the main, and he was like riding along, just like throwing his hands forward so, and like like pissed. Did you think that? So the way I took that was he literally was uh, more or less going after the promoters in a sense of like. What the hell are we supposed to like? Why are we racing this? Look at how unsafe this is, type stuff. That's what I took out of it. Not so much crying, because I'm like, what are you crying about? Like you, yeah. uh, you just won. I'll have to go back and maybe. Like a, but I, like the way I took it was, he was literally like going down these rhythm sections, like looking at all of these ruts that are going like this down the rhythm section, going, "What are we doing? Like, why are we racing this? This is so unsafe." Maybe, or uh, I thought maybe I heard. After when they, the hot mics and stuff, when he took his camera off, yeah. when they put the camera on him, and took yeah. his helmet off, yeah. I thought I heard of I couldn't shake them. Oh, okay. I maybe. thought maybe I heard that, and I was like, okay, that would explain why he was frustrated. But. Yeah. Yeah, which he had said in the press conference, like, it wasn't his best race, and he didn't, it like, he couldn't get his lines. He was... And maybe who knows? Maybe, maybe that's that was, what it was. Like, yeah, can't maybe get that my line can't get my line. Maybe that still, was a frustration don't, don't, at himself of like, dude, like, how can you like not baby, get that? I, yeah, I, d- I don't know. Like, I guess I have golden glasses for him. He's he's my guy. So. Oh yeah, yeah. So I don't know. But what? It was weird. I didn't know exactly what he was talking about. But at the same time, I'm like, man, he's is he like maybe he's freaking out. That's like unsafe. Or like you said, maybe uh, it's he weird. couldn't shake him or something. Um, that was a good ride by him for what was yeah, not. This kind of just day. segues into we were talking about him. But yeah. Back to the incident. Yeah. Where are you at on it? I, I mean, to be really honest, I'm with. I'm with you and Ricky as far as like, dude, I, I want to see a legit straight behind shot and see because there was room there for McAdoo, but, but it, it was very like thin. Yeah. And on that kind of track, it's kind of one of those of like, do you take that risk? And especially again in a heat race, like, what are you doing, man? And he's the points leader by a lot. He's the golden child. So if something happens like it did and, and let's say, and cause I, I assume you haven't listened to the uh, press conference yet. Yeah, no. Jet says that he just scraped McAdoo's foot peg with his ass. And he's like, I'm super glad I didn't catch it anywhere else or any farther down than where I was because it could have been real bad. Some like that happens, a la Dino. You give yourself a second asshole like last year. And, and he can't finish out this title. Because you made a dumb move like that, dude. You're not I living that down. That, yeah. You're not living that down with fans, bro. You just became the enemy with a lot of people, mm-hmm. like over a dumb move. And again, I give these guys props that um, they're not scared of him per se. But at the same time, like you got to know your role. Like RJ knows his role. RJ's like, dude, I'm the kid's too good at this point. He's too good. RJ knows he's not beating him, period, Mm -hmm. unless something happens to him. I'm not sure that that thought resonates with McAdoo, and I'm not sure, like they kept saying last night, there's a lot of love lost between the Lawrences and them Mm -hmm. and him, and I don't know why. Well, the Lawrences being arrogant like they were, they just started started calling him whackers. Yeah, well, and I guess, too, um, this was a thought I had, so seeing hunter and jet start to get some of the hate from the other riders which i believe is is happening um it's one of those things of who are they getting it from well it's these kids that come in like forkner's the same way okay well what were these kids what was forkner what was mcadoo well they were touted amateurs over McAdoo here was not matt not mcadoo he, was he, driving christian craig he bus was at one he point. was good and he was an amateur that was that was good not like Forkner, but 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 they were guys that were supposed to be the next guy. McAdoo was never supposed so, to be the next guy. I'll I'll fight you on that one. Okay, he so, was never so let's supposed go with, to be let's the go next with Forkner. Guy. Let's go with Forkner, Forkner or was, yes. like some of these other guys, you yes, know, who Forkner are coming out of amateur. Jet Reynolds yeah, yeah. Or, so they're supposed to be the next guy. Well, now all of a sudden you have Honda signs these Euro Australian these Australians, and they come over, and all of a sudden like. Jet's here for what two years, and all of a sudden he is the golden boy. Mm-hmm. Like, how's that make you feel? Because you're brought up, oh, you're gonna be the next guy, the next guy, the next guy, and now all of a sudden the next guy shows up, and you had no idea, you don't even know where You've the fuck existed. this guy show up showed up from, mm-hmm. and you can't touch him. And it's like, 
Yep, I could see this bringing a bunch of hate internally through the paddock, essentially. Yeah. So, I don't know, man. And like I said, I don't know what I don't know what McAdoo's deal is because in my mind, I'm like, what are you really expecting? Because like you said, I agree with you. I misspoke on that. He was not a touted amateur. He was driving Craig's thing. He was. He I was remember a concepts guy. I was gonna say, Monster Cup at amateur. I remember him um, winning like the Daytona SX yeah, A class or something. And then, and then something. Tony Alessi gave Signed him, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he was driving the bus. Yep. And then, and then Brayton he was a fill started. In. Yeah. And then Brayton started pitching him throughout like yeah. podcasts and stuff and talking about him and that. And, and then, TLD, TLD guy. Yeah. Yep. So it's like okay, cool. So like you basically were nothing. And again, he's a great rider. Okay, so I'm not trying to take any of this though. away. But we'll but get it, that in a second. Yeah, but it's like, but you were essentially nothing, and you've you've worked your way to where you are, and that's awesome. But like, how far do you think this is gonna really go for you? Like, like, dude, I'm sorry, you're never gonna, like, you may beat Jet at races per se, but you're never gonna beat Jet. No. Like, in you're not. And RJ has accepted that. Mm-hmm. I give RJ a lot of credit because it takes a lot to accept that. RJ has accepted that. Yep. He's not going to beat Jet. Jet is way too fast. Unless something happens to Jet, RJ's like, I'm not touching him. So, mm. but like I said, Mac McAdoo, I still thinks has this sliver of hope that he can run with him. Yes. And I'm sorry to tell you, you can't, dude. Like, yeah. Well, you could see it in the heat race. He was fighting hard. He was. He was trying, and I give it to him. Mm-hmm. And on a track like that where Jet can't find a flow... Yeah, you can you can stay with him a lot longer, and he's not dropping you like he did in like Oakland. But like, mm-hmm. dude, on ninety percent of the other tracks, you're screwed, man. Yeah. You're yeah. screwed. And I'm not saying don't take that chance, but just don't make a dumb choice yeah. like that, you know. And like I said, who knows? Maybe Jet went a little one way, and and McAdoo went a little the other way, and that's what ended up happening. There is just they came together. It kind it of was, a racing deal, but it was a racing not, deal, but know. it was a bad racing deal. Yeah. So, all right. So now yeah, we now we, beat now we could talk ball. about Jet's main event. Yeah. So Jet's main was not like super great either. What are you crossing your arms for, bro? Jet's main event was not great either. Um, as he said, he couldn't find a flow. He couldn't really get like link his laps together well. Yep. It was it was rough, and it it looked that way too. It mm. wasn't uh, it wasn't Oakland. No, no, he, yeah, he still did what he needed to do, um, but yeah, I, I don't know, I was still, I was watching it, and I was like, is he trying, or is he trying, has he got more in the tank, they and, asked and him it sounds like he didn't conference. have more in the tank, Yeah, he, which he is crazy to watch sure. him and be like, oh my god, he still looks super smooth, mm-hmm. like he's barely trying, but, yeah, um, so I, I don't know, if that's a bad night for him, geez, mm-hmm. So. Yeah, it was. And here's the thing: can we can we just agree here that Styles was holding everybody up? Yeah, but man, that sucks for Styles. It does, but he was riding over his head, dude. That's yeah. all there was to it. He was riding over his head, trying to stay up front as long as he could, instead of doing the more response. And I sound terrible right now, but doing the more responsible thing and just kind of letting the fast guys go by you, essentially. Mm-hmm. And then what ends up happening? exactly what you saw because again he's riding over his head mm-hmm. and and that was that was all it was mm-hmm. he was riding over his he head he's trying to go too fast and took a career best fourth or yeah. fifth or whatever <laughs> or no he's got does he got a podium at daytona yeah he's got didn't, podium yeah he's got a couple of podiums because oh. he podium like back back years at daytona oh so, yeah, yeah he, so he's got so he he's, podium the triple crown this year too yeah. so so he's had good finishes, but it's like, dude, you just, you didn't, I mean, as much as Jet didn't have it last night, like, you really didn't have it, and now look what you did, and now it's like, okay, are you hurt? Can you come back in two weeks to Glendale, or are you out? Mm-hmm. Like, was it worth it? Because, like, like we're seeing with AC, like, finish all the laps, bro. Like, finishing all the laps in fifth is better than torpedoing yourself there, trying to run up front when everybody can tell you you shouldn't be there right, right then. Like, and again, no offense to these guys. I'm just a realist. When you have Jet, RJ, McAdoo, Volan, and Lopes stacked behind you, all in the same straightaway because you're riding a bike that's the width of the straightaway to keep Jet behind you, <laughs> like, bro. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. So. We did it hard. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. Then uh, RJ 
kind of got pretty lucky he didn't get a front wheel to the face there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, speaking yeah. of RJ. RJ rode well for second place. Uh, that pass where he threw it in on McAdoo said he did not realize it was, he still had another lap. Otherwise, yeah. he would have been a little more patient, but he thought it was the last lap, and so he threw it in there and then went, oh, crap, we have another lap. So Very veteran. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, but it was like it was still clean, though. It was aggressive, but clean. Yeah. Didn't yeah, it was. It. So he uh, he did make a comment though that uh, there's a possibility, depending upon how the next couple round or how Glendale goes, he might ri- try to ride a 450 for a couple more rounds this year. Again, huh. yeah. He uh, he said he's been very sick and um, he only like Thursday started feeling better, so he's literally been sick for weeks. Uh, and on top of that, they didn't really have a great setting for that bike for him ironically right <laughs> so yeah. um but yeah but he said they've been they've been working on a little bit and uh he's like he said if he's if jet wins essentially in glendale or something extends this points lead he's gonna very highly look at uh yeah, possibly trying still, to ride it finishing second every year or yeah. you know every weekend this year it's gotta feel like a win oh yeah 100 so. percent gets to take trophy home to his daughter it's real great yeah the one they got at salvation army <laughs> the salvation army trophies yes that's it so jesus um yeah no i mean it's he looks good this year like but again it's it's just like when you're this is this is what i talked about in the preseason whenever when everybody's dodging jet and you're the one who draws a short straw and has to go ride against him. Like mm-hmm. you just kind of effed yeah. in, effed in the A there. So which then it didn't really matter because Hunter came out and was just killing it too. So yeah. it's like yeah. both coast. What are you doing? You know, a lot of red, a lot of red. So uh, McAdoo third, and um, I don't. This is just. I think this is his. He's a tick. He's just a tick off, man. Just a tick off. But I don't know if he can get that other tick. I don't. I don't know either. I think he's maxed out. I was going to say, so, like, he took a step last year that allowed him to ride with Jet, and I know we're beating this horse a little bit. Yeah, and RJ. And then this year, those guys have taken, like, Jet's definitely taken another step, step and a half. did hang in there with RJ, though. They had a heck of a battle. Oh, yeah. They did have a hell of a battle. Those two are very, very close to even there. Um, in as a lot of ways. Coast goes. Yeah. You never know. You just never never know. know. Are they going to hit the deck? Are we going to make it? Who knows? Mm -hmm. So. Um, Enzo Lopes, fourth place. That's really good Sneaky for him. Fork. Sneaky good Where'd he fourth. Come from? I don't know. Because I think Kitchen was in fourth for the longest time. Maybe. I, Kitchen shit the bed. Good thing I picked him on my fantasy <laughs> team. <laughs> uh, yeah, but that was that was a really good ride. I was surprised to look up and see him Lopes in fourth. fourth. Yeah. yeah, I was watching the battle, and then I look up Lopes in fourth. I was like, damn, did not see that coming. No, me neither. So, so uh, another... Another good ride from Lopes, man. I would love to see a team like Pro Circuit or somebody pick him up. But no way he's going to because he doesn't want to ride outdoors. Not really? Oh, yeah. He's out. He's completely out on outdoors. Interesting. In fact, I think he's going to Brazil to ride some Brazil national championship or something down there. Moto Concepts? Good home? Yeah, it could be. in the club forever. Forever. <sighs> it, dep- it depends because I guess he could go ride, uh, what's it called there? Does world? It, yeah. His club has a world team, right? Yeah. 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 So he could do that. I think that's a good home for him, though. Yeah. That'd be interesting. So uh, Max Volan, fifth. Came through a couple guys. Want to hear some shit with him? Oh, boy. His name's Maximus, actually. Well, whatever. Max over here. Uh, Maximus. In the off time, went back to California and rode a 450 for a while that he purchased. Oh, I've seen some nasty oppos and whips at Paula. Why does he have to buy his own 450? Why does he have to buy his own 450? Yeah. Why are you whispering? Like, we can't get one? KTM USA cannot get this kid a 450? I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Maybe it was something like, hey... Uh, like, we're just out? There's no more anywhere. Or maybe it's just like, hey, uh, if you want to ride a 450, it's on your own terms. You can't even get... Like, we can't even get an old... Like, a 21? 22, maybe, that didn't sell? We can't get anything? I don't really There's know. There's nothing? This kid has to go buy a 450? Yeah, bro. It's not in the budget. They signed He's Sexton. He's a factory racer. We got to go buy a 450? They signed Sexton. It's not in the budget, bro. I can't handle this sport. Who man. else did they sign? <laughs> uh, kitchen, apparently. This sport's so upside down financially with stuff. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I can't handle When he said that, I about threw my phone. I'm just it, I'm just like, is this you a You can't joke? give your lone 250 guy a 450 to ride. Yeah. Yeah, like we can't find any demos anywhere. 
Nothing. There's yeah, no. We can't go down to Ziegler Motorsports and buy one for him. Twenty one. I'm sure AEO has got fifty of them. Twenty one. Nothing. Huh. I mean, he probably bought it from AEO. I mean, do you think LeBron James goes to YMCA and they're like, "Hey, it's fifteen dollars if you want to go shoot"? It should be, but no. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. Like, unreal. Yeah. I mean, fifteen bucks. To LeBron James is like a fraction. Of I, I don't care. I mean, it's just it's just the point of like, do you think they make him pay, or he just gets to go? I and get shoot? what you're saying. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. I would be pissed if I was him. Does he have to wear? Does he have to wear Adidas too, or whatever? Because Nike didn't give him shoes, or whatever. I don't know who shoe company he wears, whatever. But Nike. Yeah. So so does Nike just be like, oh yeah, we don't, we don't have any Nikes in that area. Uh, so you might want to buy, uh, buy, go buy yeah, your own. Go down to the Foot Locker and get a yeah. set. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Stupidest shit I've ever heard in my life. Uh, Levi Kitchen. A little disappointed. Heat race win to sixth place in the main. A little disappointed and not because of my fantasy team. Just want to put that out there. This is just a rebuilding year for Star, okay? Like, I don't care what anybody says. Yeah, but it's not I, great. He looked damn good in that heat race. He looked pretty I was good very in impressed. that, yes. And he reminds me a lot of the way AP rides. I've said it before. I'll say it again. But yep. Tall. Tall. Lanky. lanky uses hangs off the back. Yeah. Yep. Um, no, I think he's, you know, this is his first year in Supercross. I think he's got some He's good doing pot- all the laps, so that's good. I think he's got some potential. Does he pull off the Triple Crown in two weeks without winning any races? No. When's the first showdown? New York. How many of them are there this year? Two. One in New York and one two weeks later in Salt Lake. I think it's like New York. Where do we go after New York? Uh, New York Is it New York, Atlanta, Salt Lake? Hmm. Yeah, I think. Whatever. Something like that. Either way, um, I don't know. A little, little underwhelming for Kitchen there. He went backwards, too. Yes. So Yes. Wasn't great. So, oh, boy. Here we go. Pierce down in the brown. Brown. Wrote his balls off. Good heat race. It just blows me away how much his technique has changed over one year. He is fast. Did you like it in, uh, what's it called, um, on Race Day Live when they're showing him and then literally like three seconds into showing him, he goes to the top of the berm, pushes the wheel over the top and crashes, and I'm like, Pierce Brown, everybody. Uh, I didn't catch that, though. Slow clap. Like, they went to him and they were saying something, and all of a sudden, boom, he's down. Down in the brown. And I'm just like, holy crap. Like, this guy can't stay on two wheels. I heard this week that, like, Renthal has to send them so many extra bars and grips for him, like, every single year. Really? It, it's a legitimate thing. They send extra because he crashes a lot. It's not just a race day thing. Really? He crashes in practice all the time, from what they said. It's wild. What are you doing? I don't understand it. What's happening? What is happening? Why can you not stay upright? I don't know. Yeah, I sent, I felt like he turned the corner this year, but I guess not. Yeah, I mean, and here's the thing. We we talk about this when we get into silly season stuff. It's like, okay, but who do they go with besides him? You know, because it's like he's got speed to win. Mm-hmm. We've all seen it. It's there, but it's just like, dude, you got to keep it up on yeah. two wheels. I mean, and who else is there to sign? You know? Yeah, exactly. That, that's exactly the thing. I mean... <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I think uh, I do think though that the Orange Brigade is gonna start mi- ramping up again here. Out. They're starting to. So I think that Julian Bomer kid's gonna be good. I think so too. I have you. So I heard something this week that we're the, getting off topic. The way the hierarchy goes at the KTM whatever here, KTM brands or whatever. How how's it referred to? Austrian brands. Uh, whatever the umbrella. I yeah, guess. the KTM umbrella. KTM group. is. KTM, Gas Gas, Husky. <laughs> oh, as far as racing goes? Yeah. Really? And that Husky kind of gets shit on and gets like the bottom of the barrel people. Mm-hmm. Which is super interesting. That's weird because their whole <laughs> brand is Husky is supposed to be the premium brand. Yes. KTM's the mid, like ready to race, yes. let's go. And then Gas Gas is your entry level. Super. I don't understand it, but that's how it was explained on something I was listening to this week. Hmm. So... That, and I can uh, see that. That's probably why RJ was frustrated with a lot of things. And I mean, they're kind of a bottom. Like, if you're thinking Formula One, they're like an Alpha Tori. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Yep. And uh, so here's so here's the thing, uh, too, with RJ. Just getting a little off topic here in the silly season stuff. Uh, he made a comment too of not only 
about like riding the 450 possibly a couple more rounds this year but uh he also made a comment of like yeah i know i need i really want to win a title before i go to 450 but we'll see and it's like oof okay well maybe we're just gonna step up and try to go so yeah, yeah. um all right back to results here so carson mumford makes his uh debut oh, on the I pro circuit cowie I Dude, wanted it. It I would know. have been a really cool story. I know. He looked good in that heat, though, for a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you can definitely tell he has not been riding because he yeah. dropped so, anchor quick. I don't know, man. Uh, get an eighth and keep building. That's yeah. just what the doctor ordered. You got your shot at the bike that you feel like you've always wanted or yeah. feel that you should have been on from the beginning, mm-hmm. a full factory bike. So uh, take it and run with it. Take your eighth and be stoked on that. Probably a career best for him, honestly. Yeah. Post-race interview, um, talking to him, he was very positive on the day. Good. So, good. which is good, yeah, because, like, we all know he was supposed to debut in Oakland. Uh, mm-hmm. Tore his calf muscle, which is super weird. Mm-hmm. Super duper weird injury. God, so super cross is gnarly. Dude, it is. It really is. So, um, all right. Uh, Mitchell Oldenburg, ninth. That's kind of weird for him. He's more top Still five-ish fourth point, guy. Though. Yeah. Still so, fourth in point. Uh, Cole Thompson, 10th. Uh, top 10 for Cole Thompson. Yeah. So interesting story about him. Okay. Um, Got a hot chick. Yeah, I would agree. But uh, <laughs> 10 out of 10 would agree. That's anyway. why they got a uh, heartbeat. <laughs> hot sauce. <laughs> um, no, they, him and Theory, Theory, Theory. didn't ride the, the first qualifying session because both of their bikes grenaded in the free practice. Really? So they were scrambled around all day and put new motors, new top. Or they didn't even put new motors in because they're a privateer team. So they put new top ends in. Oh I think. boy. Um. So I wanted to pick him for fancy. Like I said, he's always a consistent guy. So I'm like, dude, I'm not touching that situation <laughs> right now. So, um, yeah, for him to go through that during the day and still get on that bike and trust it to get mm-hmm. a top ten is pretty pretty cool. So yeah. Um, say what you want. He's a douche. Whatever. He can ride. He's a good fucking rider. Yeah, I don't know. I've never never talked to him, so I don't know. Good fucking rider. Yeah. Uh, Robbie Wageman, 11th. On my team. Josh Verrees, 12th. On my team. Uh, uh, best rider of the year for Verrees, I feel like. Yeah, he's he's slowly starting to step back into stuff here. Uh, Derek Drake, 13th. Mm-hmm. Hunter Yoder. Dude. Dude. Bro was killing it last night. So, yeah, I think he got tired. But Well, uh, that's a thing for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But Hunter Yoder, man. How I, about them starts? He's another guy that I would really like to see back on factory equipment because he was a guy that was in the pipe. To, yeah, for Honda, yeah, right? He was in the pipe like a Mumford yeah, cause, program. Yeah, because he was, he was just coming on to big bikes when Geico folded, Correct. wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he just got off the 150. Yep. So, so he got kind of boned on that situation. And, yep. <laughs> Um, I'm glad to see him building and kind of. That was really impressive last be, night because so. he whole shots the heat, he whole shots the main, Leads out the front. Lap. Yeah, and dude, I mean, look look at what we had last night. We had two privateers whole shot both yeah. mains yep. and lead laps. Like that's that's pretty sweet. Pretty cool. So, um, but yeah, he was very very impressive mm-hmm. yesterday. I put him on my team. So oh, he was on mine. Um, yeah, so that was pretty good. Uh, Derek Kelly, fifteen. Weird. That's weird. That's off. That's not yeah, great. Yeah, this with is him. like pre. Derek Kelly that we yeah had. yeah yeah for sure this um, is like I don't know yeah uh, he's I don't know if he's dealing with an injury or something but that he was like off in practice all day too he was he was he wasn't great I mean dude there was a lot of I, when I was looking at times to pick fantasy there was a lot I was looking going what the fuck do you do with this because yeah, well, like, like guys Kelly, are way down there he's a per, uh, Pacific Northwest guy ain't he yeah uh, uh, no I thought he was I thought he was he Cali boy I don't know Hold on, oh we're see. curious now we're gonna pull up the ball yeah, Riverside, yeah. Oh, okay. So, I thought he was from up that area for some reason. Well, but. NorCal, Riverside. So, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, Max Miller, 16th. Uh, Austin Politelli, 17th. Dude. A-Rod. How about, uh, how oh. about that LCQ with Politelli, Harrison, and Robin? <sighs> Bro. And then he just cleans Robin. Bro, yeah. He Robin's was, pissed. Robin was, was real salty. Hopefully Buttery was in the rig after. Oh, I hope so. Oh, I hope so. So what? Uh, in the what was the deal there? Uh, what's his nuts was in, wasn't he? Who? And didn't realize he was in the guy on the Suzuki. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Who um, was it on the Suzuki? I don't remember. I don't know. I don't. Or know. there was somebody that I don't think needed to make a pass and tried to make one anyway. Yeah, I don't remember. It was a weird night for me watching it. So I don't know. Team AJE. Yeah. Um, God damn, dude! It's gonna bust my balls not remembering 
Anthony Rodriguez, 18th. Mitchell Harrison on my team, 19th. Rodriguez was, real sweet was on for mine. a while. He's yeah. the one that shit the sheets for me. He qualified well, and, and I think he went down in the first couple laps of the main there. You want to talk some shit on my boy Caden Amarine for making the main? <laughs> Did you pick him? <laughs> no. Exactly. Uh, he got 20th. Hunter Slosher made the main. Good for him. 21st. So I Slosher was a deep sleeper for me. Yeah. Just because uh, in Detroit, yeah. I don't know if you noticed in the C practice, uh, my buddy Jordan and I were sitting there, and we're like, dude, there's a 250F out there somewhere. Yeah. You could just hear it, mm-hmm. and it was Slosser. Yeah. I'm to find out. So, like, damn, he's been getting some track time and, mm-hmm. and uh, riding with the big boys. Maybe he might squeak in the main. So. Yeah, he was pitted right next to Kev in Indy. So, yeah. his mechanic walked me down there. So Yeah, walked uh, you down there? Have yeah. a leash on you? Yeah, something like that. Uh, and then Styles Robertson, 22nd, which we already talked about, riding over his head and hit the deck, and hopefully he's okay. But Collarbone? Who knows? Uh, shoulder? Like it. They would, they, I was going to say they were pointing at his shoulder there, so I, I don't know, man. It's a bad situation. That, so. sucks. that sucks. Um. All right. Anything else 250-wise here? That's it, man. Let's uh, let's figure out what we're buying and selling and wrap this deal up. All right. Uh, 250 class, 250 race recap brought to you by our friends at Adept Creative Co. There. Again, make sure to check them out. Links in the description down below. Have you seen all these arena cross videos? Yeah, you see that dude getting bitch slapped into the dozer, and then uh, they were fighting, and of course the yeah, Fox yeah. visor comes off. Yeah, in the tunnel there. Yeah, yeah. like dude runs up behind yeah, him, like what slaps I, him. It's hilarious. And from what I understand, that kid was a promoter's kid. One the one, one, the one that was the, the one that got instigate. Oh, was it really? I think so. What an idiot. I don't know. I'm, my thing is, is I'm just looking at this stuff, just laughing. Like, dude, oh, what, what are you like? You're obvious. Like, you're not one of the pro guys. So, like, what the fuck are you fighting? Yeah, I don't know. Class or I don't know if they were fighting over the LCQ or what? <laughs> who knows, man? Never Shit's wild. It, either one of those dudes. Shit is wild, though. And then, dude, Matt Burkeen going to all of these arena crosses and just, just somehow it. gets all of these crashes. Oh, he films everything. Like, I do not know how he gets all... Because, like... He sits there with a camcorder and doesn't turn it off. I was going to say, dude, it's insane. And these guys nose-picking these finish line <laughs> doubles is just wild to me, dude. I I was watching some of his stuff yesterday, and I'm just like, holy crap, this is nuts. <laughs> like... It makes me want to go ride an arena cross just to see if I do something stupid like that. Listen, I don't want to ride one, but I'll go there with a camcorder for you. My my thing is like, can I just go ride one for like five minutes without anybody out there with me? Like, like what about this thing in your backyard here? Just to see. I know that. Well, I mean, that's basically it. Yeah. So that, I mean, and at this point, we're building it to it is it. So outside of whoops. That one that they had recently, where was it? Was it Pennsylvania or whatever? You know what I'm talking about? That was almost like the, almost looks like the bull ring. It's very round with the tall white walls or whatever. Mm, kind of, yeah. Yeah. That one to me was super weird because if you watched it, like those whoops they built were freaking monsters, but like they weren't like whoop whoops. They were just like literally like boop like this that like they had put Mount in. Everest. Yeah, like somebody didn't really know what they were doing. They're like, oh, just build really peaky, like three foot tall <laughs> jumps real death, close together. Yeah. Whoops. And I'm just like, holy crap. Of course, there was one of those Matt Burkeen videos I was watching too of like a normal arena cross that the whoops were just ridiculous in too. And the guys are trying to skim and I'm just like, oh my God. <laughs> well, better them than me. I'm glad I'm sitting here. Dude, yeah, me too, man. Like uh, my thing is, is like, Everybody can say whatever they want about what's out there, but it's like, well, if I ever go to one, I, at least I'll somewhat know what I'm doing. Yeah. So no matter how it looks, at least I've wrote it enough that it's like I have the confidence to do it. So, yeah. all right. Um, stock picks here for oh. uh, we got an off week, so we got some time here. Mm-hmm. So do you want to do? I guess we can do two fifties too because two fifty buy and sell. And yeah. Four fifty buy and sell. Yep. Um, all right, so in the 250 class, I'm going to buy uh, some Carson Mumford here because mm. I think it's only going to improve from here. I had to get kind of a base to see what was going to happen, yep. but I think it's on. The, I think it's going to go up and up here for the rest of the season on that PC bike. So I'm going to buy some Carson Mumford. Uh, what am I selling? <laughs> I'm selling all my Styles Robertson. <laughs> Everything I have for Styles. I had some in the gone. beginning of the year. Yeah, I'm I just I'm just selling that. So, all right, so all yeah, right. so buying Mumford, selling Robinson. What about you for the two fifty? Oh, I am also buying Mumford. Okay, I think that's a good dividend stock. Yep. Um, 
so yeah, I, I like that one. Like I said, I think it's on a nice crescendo. <laughs> and uh, we're also going to his home race. Arizona boy, right? No, he's from California. Yeah, but on the border down there, like Havasu area. Uh, maybe? Isn't his track in Arizona? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's in the high des. No, it's in California. It's in the high des. It's Alessi's old place. I don't. I could have swore it was damn near. I don't he's know. He's down close to the line, though. I don't know. Text Kiefer. Sure. Text Kiefer and ask him. I don't okay, know. Okay, whatever. I'm buying his stock. Okay. And then uh, selling my McAdoo stock. I don't think very many people are impressed with him right now, so I think it's tanking. Okay. All right. That's fair. So what about 450 class? 450 class. I'm buying some Moran's, baby. <laughs> I'm buying some Kevin Moran stock. It's not expensive, but it's going up. It's starting to go up. I think um, it lost a little bit of value with that 20th place, but uh, I think there's a lot to gain with mm-hmm. the uh, with the start. Sure, sure. So. Who are you selling? Ooh, who am I selling? Mm, tough one. I think I'm going to sell my... Fuck, I don't know. I keep trying to buy some sex in stock, but I think that shit's all sold. <laughs> I think I'm selling that again. Yeah. I, it's hard to hold on to that one. It's too, too. Uh, what's the word? Volatile? Vo- yeah. It's, it's a volatile, volatile stock. Yeah. Yep. So. Yeah. Uh, so I'm with you. I'm going to sell all the sex in stock I got. I'm just, I'm out on that right now. I don't, he, he hasn't got this figured out. Mm-hmm. He has not. Like, he's got the speed part figured out, but he hasn't yeah. got them putting the main yeah. events Give together. Give me two in a row figured out and yeah. I'll, uh, I'll buy. Yep. Um, and then I am going to, uh, buy some Adam C. and Cirillo stock. Mm. I think that's, uh, I think that's going up here. We need stem cells. Everybody needs stem cells, bro. Everybody needs stem cells, so. Anything else uh, for the show here? Uh, no, that's it. I, I like the stock week. stuff. And then uh, Arizona is in two weeks. Two right? weeks. We got an off week next week. Um, Does that mean we get a third seat filled here? Hopefully. I'm going to try to put together a uh, kind of a silly season show here to kind of lay out. Um, I'm just going to film it in pieces here throughout the week as I have time. So I'm going to try to lay out everybody who's on the block for silly season as far as 450 goes and where we think they're going and what we think they're doing and what the curveballs could be behind yeah. all when of this. Are you filming that in here? Yeah, but I'm probably going to do it, honestly, throughout the week here okay. just as I get 10 or 15 minutes here because, like, I got to kind of sit down and write out a little bit, too, of, like, whose contract's up, where we think they're going, mm-hmm. what pieces have to fall in place first, second, all this stuff because, yeah, there's there's a lot to it here, but yeah. there's a lot of moving parts. I was trying to do I was trying to do it with Cooksey, but he's... Uh, I guess in the process of moving or something. So he's like, yeah, I got a couple weeks What's before. I don't know. You're getting a I'm, job? I have no idea. I have no idea. I didn't ask. I can ask, but I didn't ask. So, um, All right. So this has been episode number 231 for the Moto Aftermath Show. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Really appreciate it. Uh, thanks to all our sponsors, Complete Racing Solutions, TLR Coatings, Holster Co., Gutter Works, Adept Creative Co., Isaac Nelson Designs, and Edgewood Farms. Make sure to check them all out. Links in the description below. Links to merch in the description down below. Links to Amazon in the description down below. Patreon links down below. And, uh, yeah, we'll be back um, in a couple of weeks to wrap up Glendale. Like I said, some sort of silly season show I will put out next week. And we've got some uh, I've got some, some local race stuff that I did last year and things like that that I need to make videos this week here mm-hmm. and uh, put out. So there will be content for the next couple of weeks, but uh, just won't all be the show here. So thanks, everybody, oh, yeah. for tuning in. We will see everybody next week. Later. Or two weeks. <laughs>